guys. Welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane. Today I'm going to show you guys the complex black Axiom ROM for the Galaxy Nexus. That's not a mouthful. Uh, this is by the Droid Theory team. You can find this ROM at droidhive.com or you can check out the link in the description for the download link to this ROM. This is a continuation of the Theory ROM for the Galaxy Nexus. Uh, you can expect the new Axiom version 2 to come out in the next month or so. Right now, Droid Theory, the main ROM developer, is like in the hospital. He had this freak accident. From my understanding, a roof collapsed on him. Uh, so we're just praying that he gets better and uh, thinking nice things about him and his family. I know that he's going through a hard time right now. And so we just hope that he recovers and then comes back and gives us like the awesome ROMs that we are totally familiar with. Uh, but while you wait on him to get better and uh, you know, make sure that you check him out on Twitter. It's Droid Theory. Tell him that you love his stuff and that you uh, hope that he gets better. But while you're waiting on him to get better, this is like the perfect thing to keep you satisfied if you are a Theory ROM fan. This is the Complex Black Axiom ROM. So this would be like an in-between ROM. They're calling this a hybrid ROM. And I forget the particular developer's name, but I'll be sure to shout him out in the description below because he's done an absolutely awesome job. This is all blacked out, so uh, the theming here is just a black theme, so all of the apps have been inverted. As you can tell, if you open up the Google apps, you see that the maps and the Gmail, the calendar, the talk, uh, the play music, everything, even the play store, if you click on that, open it up, everything has been inverted. So all the white elements have been removed and replaced with black elements. So that just gives it a really cool, unique look and feel. Um, it is very fast. It's running the Franco kernel to make it super fast. And let's see, if we go into settings, oh, you know what, we'll go ahead and talk about the drop down menu. You have some toggles here and you can change the color. We'll get into that in the settings actually. So let's just jump into settings. And the first thing you see up top here is the triage settings. If you go to power menu, you can change what shows up in the power menu. So like when you press and hold the power menu, I, right now I don't have anything to show up, but you can select the reboot menu. Uh, you can show screenshot, you can show a torch toggle, which is what I like to show. So if we pull that back up, now you have your reboot menu and your screenshot and your torch flashlight. So that's real easy to get to to turn that on and turn it back off. So we go back into the triage settings. Uh, there's several other things there. There's your toggles. So like the pull down menu, you can change what shows up. So if you go to toggle buttons, you can actually pick and choose what toggles you want to show in that drop down menu. Uh, and then you can also change the colors, uh, indicate the color. You can change what color to indicate that it's turned on. So right now you see that I have my LTE turned on, my uh, bright is on, as well as my GPS. Those are all on. We can go to the toggle button order and actually change the order um, that way for further customization of the toggles. Battery, you can change the battery icon style. I have it on the icon with text, but you can change that on the fly as well to text only or circle mod. And you can change the battery bar, so like for the My UI or my UE or me UI or whatever you can change that it'd be just a bar across the notification bar up top clock widget you can change that to center clock which is what I like or right clock or you can change it to no clock at all I prefer center clock you can choose to have or take away AM and PM and you can also change the color very easily there so just to prove the point I'll go to pink and change it and you see how easily that was to change and we'll change it back to blue. Lock screen style, there are several um, options here. You can change the number of targets, and I'll just keep it simple for myself, but you can also choose uh, the text color on your lock screen and the lock screen layout, and you can choose what apps you want to show up in the targets. Navigation bar, there are a few settings here. It's not like as uh, customizable as an AOKP, but there are some settings that you can change. Under menu visibility, I have mine to always show, so that's always enabled, or you can do it default. So like if you pull up an app and it has the menu button, it will show up. If you pull up an app and it doesn't, then it won't show up, or you can have it always invisible. Menu location, you also choose where you want it, if you want it left, or if you want it both. Or if you're like me and you just like it over to the right. You can change the number of navigation buttons. 
and you can choose to um, you can choose the order and the color and you can choose also the transparency which is really neat and there's automatic backlight rotations and animations pulse notification light so you can change the um, whether or not you have it there and then the default you can change the color as well which is pretty cool set the color and then there's some general tweaks you can change your carrier label which I normally do there uh, enable volume options if we go back there's also smart profiles and quiet hours which are really cool options to have the com complex controls this is like your performance settings you can change your maximum CPU frequency and you can also change your governor here and that is about it for the complex black Axiom ROM like I said it has some awesome theming and it is wicked fast uh, another thing that I like about it is it does have the digital clock widget I like that a whole lot and uh, I'll go ahead and we'll reboot it so that you can see the boot animation it's just the standard uh, stock ice cream sandwich Galaxy Nexus boot animation but they are working on a custom boot animation which should come out with the next version of this ROM so check out the link in the description that will stay updated as well guys you can check me out at droidmoderx.com for the latest in uh, Android and tech news also be sure to check out my Twitter account at droidmoderx be sure to click on the subscribe button right about there if you like this video for more videos like this in the future. And also be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. It helps me out so much. It only takes you a couple of seconds and it helps me out more than you know. Guys, I appreciate you watching. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.